Tottenham against Liverpool, guys. It's big, it's big, it's big, it's huge, huge, guys. We're back. I appreciate the international break. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But can we please have at least 10 or 11 games before we go on the international break? I am glad to be back to club football because, guys, I keep telling you that this Premier League season may be the best season ever. This game is huge. It's massive. Because this game is about Liverpool. Okay, let's now talk. Because officially, this is Liverpool's toughest test so far. This is their toughest game so far. Tottenham, we don't know what happened with the game against War Watford. This is how they can actually try to react to that Watford loss, which didn't really make any sense. Although Watford unbeaten. So many things to really peel within this preview. Your boy, the golden boy, Harry Kane. It used to be Harry Kane, but now Harry Kane. Is he injured? Is he burnt out? Is he too tired? Is he fatigued? Is he out of form? Is that just an, an England thing? Should he really be played? Should he really be, 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 be rested? Pochettino has a big decision, decision to make because, again, you don't want to burn out your top goal scorer. Kane is crucial to what Tottenham do. So I think Pochettino has a problem because, again, you may want to allow him to play out of this kind of like weird rut that he's in where he's not really fully scoring on points and everything. I mean, just say, you know what, chill, let's relax, let's get um, Harry Kane on, on the pitch and let him continue, continue to, to score. Lucas Moura, um, this could be his season. This could really be his breakout season. And I think, you know, again, he's going to be a guy who a lot of people will be looking to, especially talking to say, you know what, we're here, we're, we're big, and this is how I can prove to myself that PSG were wrong to bench me. But guys, I think the biggest news for Tottenham is your boy's son. He's returning back from the Asia Games. He doesn't have to do flipping two-year military services. Football career has been saved. And that is a humongous boost for Tottenham. So, for me, being a manager, you have to make bold decisions. I think Pochettino should at least consider saying, you know what, Kane, hold the bench for at least the first of us or somewhat. I'm going to start with Son and Moro up in that ass. Let's let's see how it goes. Let's see how it rolls. And if it doesn't work, let's let's bring someone in there because Son is a bad boy. That's a bad bad boy. For Liverpool, um, again, you know, it's still a perfect record, and we don't have to look about the performances they've had or so forth. Where you know they they got pushed by by Brighton and so forth, Palace and and, and everything. Leicester City pushed them as well. It's about winning, and I think the directive has to be that guys, you have to go for the Premier League this season. You have to go for the Premier League this season. This has to be the season where your prime focus is the Premier League. Your focus for the Champions League, no. The focus has to be on the Philippine Premier League. So I think, you know, um, there's... Look, Van Dijk is huge. And I think, you know, what, seeing what Van Dijk has been doing in the last few games has been massive because he has definitely been a dude that has redefined... Well, not only redefined, but has added some much-needed stability to Liverpool's de defence. And I think it's a huge signing because... An attacker is obviously a player who can change your, your team. People underestimate the impact a quality defender can make on your team. The impact. Because, yes, this is about scoring goals. It's also about making sure that you don't concede too, too many goals. Because there's only so much an attacker can do if you keep on conceding. But Joe Gomez, let's let's talk about Joe Gomez, okay? Let's, you know, as, as, as MGK would say, let's talk about it. Gomez is... is it's going to be hard for a lot of them to, to come out of that because when... You're a manager. Don't ever change something that's going well. So you may have done a change because of an injury to your starter. But if it's like, wait, this looks pretty good. It's like, okay, Lovren, I know you're a starter, but Gomez and Van Dijk, they look all right. <laughs> look, guy, like for me, Gomez was the man of the match against Leicester City. Like this guy is, I don't know where this came from. And look at him, and this guy's a pretty damn good central defender. So Gomez, you know, he may actually really keep his um, place in the side. Salah. 15 max, 15 max, 10, 10 goes on to his, his maximum. So you always say, okay, what is the issue with Salah? Can he really um, open things up? And I think for Salah, it's one of those, those it's, it's, a, it's a mental thing, Salah. He has to completely and utterly forget what people are saying about him and completely forget what happened last season. Because I think, you know, what I think may be happening is that he's thinking too much. He's, he's thinking too much. It's going to be instinct. Because I think if he relies much more on his instincts and just say, I'm just going to attack this match as naturally as I can as a football player, not thinking about anything, I think the goals will come. But I think what's happening is that he has a weight on his shoulders. He's got the target on his back. He knows what he did last season. People are pointing out at him. He's 
a finalist of the UEFA Player of the Year. He could be a finalist in the Ballon d'Or as well. So the, these are all of these. Also, yeah, he's a finalist of um, the the best F and FIFA award, award as well. So I think he has to forget all of that. Forget he's a finalist and everything, and just treat this as a completely new season, new blank slate. I think, especially in this game, I think Salah can really cause Tottenham some issues because he's he's very important. But the most important dude is your boy Sadio. Sadio is Liverpool's best footballer. He's Liverpool's best player. Don't allow anybody else to tell you otherwise. He is their best player. And I think that's, you know, for <clears throat> for Salah, no, sorry, for Mane, he's gonna it's, it's gonna be very important what Mane does in this game because Mane is the dude that really makes things happen because he is the true link in that front three that is that that that, 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 that what's cut cut, cut guy is open. So um Mane will be very important. I think Mane will be required to really be very much involved in the game and try and find those those key spaces, run with the ball, get power past people, break the, the lines, create situations, create scenarios, because he's the guy that creates scenarios. Like Firmino is obviously the guy that really acts as a conduit between Mane and um your boy Salah. Salah is, of course, the finisher, the best finisher, but Mane is the dude that really engineers things, that really gets things going, that really collects that ball from, from midfield and says, okay, right, I'm the connective tissue from the middle to attack. Let's start going. I'm the guy that is required to be on the ball a lot more and it's, and it's almost the playmaker of that front front three. So, um, this is a game that seems as if there's going to be a lot of goals in this game, you know, but let's just switch back to Tottenham right now. Um, I think for Tottenham, how they have to approach it because this is what I, I say to guys Tottenham are a very good at defensive side and I think that Tottenham even if they're playing at home you know um I do think that they need to really focus much more on the defensive side because Tottenham have to look to style for Liverpool because Liverpool are the better attacking teams because they're the better attacking team I think Tottenham have to look to really try to stifle them so Pochettino has to focus and say you know what let me try and just quell things let me try and just quell things um, and make it difficult for the Liverpool side. Restrict the this, this space. Do not allow a can come to attacks. Make Salah play in front of us. Do not allow situations where it's a one on one on Salah, Firmino, and um, Mane, which is what what they like. So tell those midfielders to to come back and really form an extra um, defensive tissue on those three boys. And I think once they do that, I think Son is ready to go because the guy is is G up after winning it for for, for the Asia Games. Son has to, to start. Whether you sacrifice Kane, Mora, or so forth, Son has to start. Because I think for, with, with Son, I think that's a dude that can really cause some issues, especially if you're putting him out wide left as the attacking left dude, which I think is... That's Alexander Arnold's place. I, read, I mean, I want to see that. I really want to see Son versus Alexander Arnold and say, so you know what? Get at him get in one-on-one -on -one situations and even for the Tottenham boys try and give the ball to Son where he's in a one-on-one -on -one situation and continue trying and really try and push him, push him, push him, push him, push him and for more as well what can you do like bring things in because what you've seen from Liverpool in the Bright City game and the Leicester City game they start very, very well they start really well so for Tottenham defensively for those first 10-15 minutes you, you, you're going to make it hard but what we we're now seeing happening the fitness goes, the concentration goes, and they allow the opposition to get back in the game. So I think once that happens, I think that is where you have to now, um, Tottenham have to now really play the long game. Defence to begin with, 60, second half, 55th, 65th minute, bring it on. Attack, attack, attack. So um, maybe it's a case maybe you want to bring Son on as some fresh legs, but I, I would still say st st start with, with Son. Um, but of course, the midfield is going to be huge. And I think Dembele again. Um, Tottenham's best mid midfielder is going to have to have a strong battle against Milner, Navigate, and so forth. So, in Liverpool's sense, I think for, for Liverpool, um, it's very important that they try and play the long game. As I, as, I, as I said, they have to pace themselves. But I think even more so, I think the issue is um, the midfield keeping the ball. And that is why, you know, Fabinho, where was he at? Because I do feel like if for, for Fabinho, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Fabinho may be um, a more composed um, quality midfielder than Henderson and Milner. Because the issue that happens is that 65, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70 minute. Let's say Liverpool are, are winning the game. You have to keep the ball. Henderson, you have to keep, keep the ball. You can't just 
smack the ball long and, 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 and just hurry it. You have to be professional. When you're really professional, keep hold of the ball, bide your time, the opening will, will come. Even if the opening doesn't come, by holding the ball, you're wasting time and you're restricting the amount of attacks and the amount of possession that the opposition has. So that's what Liverpool have to do. You can't keep rushing it and, 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 and making the ball go forward. So that's why I think Naby Keita will be very important because I think um, Keita is the more accomplished mid midfielder out of him, Milner, um, Henderson, and even with Ronaldo as well. I think um, Naby Keita is, is the best midfielder. So trying to predict this game... <clears throat> Um, so, I began with a 2-2. That's what I began with. I began with that. I think this is going to be a draw. But I'm thinking of, of that Watford game. Thinking of that Watford game, I'm thinking of Wembley, the space that's within on the Wembley pitch. I'm thinking about Harry Kane. Is he, in fact, fatigued? Um, I'm looking at all, all, all of those things, but I'm also thinking of Son as well. We also thinking about Aldevard and Vertonghen, Ver how good they are as, as defenders, and I think they may be able to really devise a plan to stop Liverpool. But with that being said, um, I'm going to ride with a 2 1 to Liverpool. I'll ride with a 2 1 to Liverpool. Could I say 2 2? It might be 2 2, but you know what? I say? F it. I'm going to ride with a 2 1. 2 1 to Liverpool. 2 1 to Liverpool. That's, that's how I'm going to ride with it. It may be wrong, but 2 1 Liverpool. Watch my post match analysis. After the game, please stay true. La 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 la. Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a half of football hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the football hot, for more analysis. Peace.